Like I finally defeated him. I was just playing Ring Around the Rosie around the table with him. Finally managed to kill him. Oh my god, that was a pain in the arse! Crooked man. I'm not going to be like you. You failed to catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living! So. Be gone! <laughs> That's awesome. He says, be gone, and the crooked man leaves. <sighs> Open the door. That's right. This is the end. Duke. Aww. That's why his neck's all red, red like that. That's why he looks the way he does. Oh, that's actually really depressing. I'm really sad now. You, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down, so you called me? No, that's not right. You wanted to help me. To tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So. Now... You can rest in peace. Watch ending! Yay! Cute. Wow, it must have been rough, David. Finding a corpse on your trip? It sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go make some tea. Oh, cutie. To get a proper he was beaten by he was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man's gone. Hello? Huh? Uh, okay, I'll head right there. Dave, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition to be turned. They're gonna have to do the operation. Just so take my bike, it'll be faster. You gotta go, don't sit there, stay in. Doctor! Doctor! Mom, mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Emo us. Doctor, please, my mom, she's, she's the only family I have, please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Emo eyes. Doctor! Mom! Mom? The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. Did I just... F 
whatever. David? Mom! Mom! Oh, thank God! You woke up, you really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. After all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted. I thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Yes! I hate you. Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. What? He went out the trash can? She got a good funeral. Show your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself, those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. Mary? Why are you... Shirley? Shirley, you can't be serious! I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you go to the call? What did she just do? It made him scream, ow, 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 ow. Ahem, we're going. Pinching him? That's all she's doing? Pinching him by the what, exactly? David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was anxious. I'm unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Maybe I did need your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry, maybe this is too late, but... David, if it's okay with you, would you like to... David, I'm sorry, please don't cry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed, and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. You suck, dude, I hate you! It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter off things get, we'll set them straight. I promise you. David... Kiss, kiss, kiss! Kiss and make up! You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Rest in peace, Duke. Go ahead. Box of six. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Till then, rest in peace. Bye bye, Blackbird.
Blackbird. Whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm actually crying from how happy I am right now. <laughs> God, give me a hug. Oh, give me a hug, my loyal subjects. <sighs> You are all just great. <laughs> Transcendental Etudes. Sergei! Prohivijo. Allegro and Quieto. Piano Sonata number 7, opening 383. Bye Bye Blackbird by Ray Henderson, published in 1926. Yuri. I actually really like this game now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Fiend. El Fiend. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my god. You all such a great. And congrats on the good ending. Yeah! This is an extra page. You'll lose the page if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. Player, that's you. It has a name on the back. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room, this big mare. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. It's only emptiness. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back. So I have to forget everything, good and bad. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive that blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I loved those days. I know there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I'm a have-not. I sat in the chair and watched in the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. The hotel, the school, the hospital, I was... It was the same at all of them. My, sad, my saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't set to my heart. In the end, my festering heart when the paper is torn. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? He was sorrowful. Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. Why, why, why? No, 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 Please try it if you're interested. The second play will be indicated. Playthrough playthroughs three and up have no changes. About the series. This ends the Crooked Man. But I'd like to make a series of similar games. I hope you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. Gotta find the blog now! <laughs> About the game. The impetus to create the game from a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long a story, unfortunately. That'd be available on my blog. This game is less scary than my last game, Paranoiac, but I considered having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoyed it again. Thank you for playing. Awesome. Where's this extra page? Good to know. So I'm saving. I'm gonna cut the video here because that was a long video. May just have to chop it up and post. And a post I'll have to make. Okay.
So I'm gonna start the second playthrough going. I'm gonna start recording when I notice things starting to shift. See you on the flip side, audience.